Hello again, this is Dr. George Gonzalez, and we're continuing our conversation on cranial nerve function, the most important actions for foundation neurological health. We began by sharing cranial nerve 10 actions and how to correct them. And let's just review what we went over. We had Lori swallow while using the indicator muscle, and she's now uh, strengthened. And now we had her tickle the roof of her mouth and vocalize, uh... and she is strengthened from that action. And the last one we did was smile, showing the teeth, and swallowing simultaneously, which isolates the swallowing actions. And she's maintaining her, her correction on all those. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how to layer other cranial nerve stresses on top of this to, to get a more profound correction. The correction we're going after is cranial nerve three for accommodation. Accommodation is the ability to focus near and far on, on a target. And this is your eyes, the smallest muscles in your body, the ciliary muscles of the eyes, controlling those pupils opening and closing to focus on a target. And also the muscles that allow the convergence and divergence of the eyes to match that target. So that's what we're gonna be testing here. So I begin with my indicator test, and let's begin just testing cranial nerve three for accommodation. Let's have you look near, and I test. I have you look to the distance and test, and then I have you look near, and test. So she's holding on all of those actions, which is a good thing. That's what we want for somebody. Let's just mimic a weakness, just so we know how to make a correction. So from here, if I have her look near, and this indicator muscle goes weak, that's an indication of weakness, and if she looks to the distance, finds a target in the distance, and that goes weak, and or near again, these are all different tests. Each action is a different test that we're doing. And so the first is initiating focus on the target. The second is from the target to the distance. And the third is from the distance back to the close target. So there are three different tests we're doing there. Now I'm gonna use a GRT light and I place it on the brainstem at GV16, right under the occiput. And now I have the patient exercise the, neural, the specific neurological actions that we want to correct. So I give her a target here and I say I want you to exercise your eyes by looking near, going far, and looking near again while the light is on the brain stem. And go ahead and exercise that, looking near and far. Now she did not have this weakness, but what you may notice is somebody will uh, be able to speed up in their eye movement and their ability to process this action, and which is very powerful. Now we're gonna demonstrate how to level this up and how to combine this with cranial nerve 10. So we're gonna use the specific action of tickling the palate and vocalization. And she's strong there, but now we add the layer of stress of looking near. And we test and she's holding well, looking far and looking near again. And actually this one is inhibited. So again, when she has her focus in the distance and bringing it back to close, that's where she shut down only when she had that added cranial nerve 10 stress. So let's do the same idea. We're gonna stimulate the brainstem. We're gonna have, give her a target to focus near and far. She's gonna tickle her palate, and now she's gonna focus near and far to exercise this, that specific nerve action. It just takes a few seconds. And now one more time. You can focus on the distance. And I'm testing, tickle the palate, and look back at my finger and she's holding that correction. This is how quick and simple quantum neurology could be for your, your practice, and you can see instant neurological changes in most cases. So these kind of uh, corrections, what we just demonstrated, is, is what could be done for people with migraines, people with eye strain, uh, things of that nature, because when these nerves are inhibited, people have problems with the ability to focus on a target, being able to read something for a long period of time, or even looking into the distance or when they're driving, their body gets tired. They get tired very easily when they have these weaknesses. It can also cause uh, stress and strain, headaches, migraines. All these things may not be the actual cause of those things, of the migraines and those uh, actions, but they're definitely not helping. So by strengthening these nerve actions, the body is better able to handle whatever stress it's handling.